welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your weekend tarot for the 14th and the 15th, I think that's, yeah, of December 2019. Valley Bobs joins us. She is asleep. We are using the Morgan Greer. Smells like the 70s. Oh boy. And it does. Just felt like using this one today. It's like an old friend ran for a cup of tea. Okay, what do we need to know? It shuffles so well as well. What do we need to know? Lovely, smells like the 70s Morgan Greer. Oof. Wow. The sash is still rattling. Cool, these are quite strong cards, people. Oof. Wowzers. <laughs> this one came up in the shuffle it was the right way up it came up three times in the shuffle and it's in the reverse and I don't know what to make of that normally I would just say ace of cups in the reverse but it doesn't feel like that how strange how strange for those of you just starting out learning tarot I know a, a few of you have emailed me about that these are the moments that you have as an experienced tarot reader, I think, where you get a, a card like the Ace of Cups, which is so, you know, provocative, it's emotional, it means love and good vibes and all that. And you get it in the reverse and sometimes it just doesn't mean what it normally means. And sometimes that's all you know. And I feel like that's the opener, okay? That's the opener. Now we certainly have other cards tussling around. We've got the Eight of Cups. Now the Eight of Cups means that one way or the other, there is an aspect of this reading that is to do with walking away from something emotionally that has not served you favorably, okay? That is the case with the Eight, eight of Cups. It's Saturn in Pisces. It is Saturn, the planet of doing the right thing, even though it's uncomfortable, in the dreamy, I'm happy to do the wrong thing constantly, um, environment of Pisces, okay? Now, directly underneath it, another eight, another card of movement, but with restriction. And I'm getting betrayal of some kind. Now, this could be about betraying yourself. It's interesting. There's a situation, I think, that may have remained dormant, which is going to start to gather momentum in some way. In the middle of the reading, the hanged man in reverse. We had the hanged man a couple of weeks ago. Do you remember, as we came out of the Scorpio retrograde energy, he was there all the time. And it feels like... It's moved into a place of momentum, but this just isn't straightforward, and I don't understand why. Alongside him, the magician, the manifester, with the empress. So we have a masculine and a feminine vibe in some way, okay? However that plays out for you. Brian and Wendy Freed, we're going to call upon you a bit here. And I want that one, and I want that one. Interesting. For the Ace of Cups in reverse, I get the Green Man, which is my Divine Masculine card. The Force. <laughs> what do they call that? <laughs> That's my Force mine. <laughs> the Force. That's Star Wars, isn't it? I know, some of you are groaning like, of course that's Star Wars, Gemma. With the Blessing. That's what I'm saying. There is a hidden blessing in this reading that I don't understand. Okay, fair enough. And then over here I get the Queen of Hearth and Home. That's almost like the no place like home where you make a home for yourself in the environment with the maiden, okay? There's some sense of like a fountain of something kind of like, maybe it's hope springs eternal, I don't know. And then up here, the Ace of Swords. 
clarity, crown chakra, woof, you know, up the crown chakra, as we say. Now, I don't know, because we've got the Ace of Swords with the Eight of Cups. Suddenly you realise you have to walk away or suddenly you realise what you've lost. Six of Pentacles, a gift. Gift card with the Magician. I feel like I want to take a couple of clarifiers, so I'm going to do that, I think. I'm going to use the right of weight for this. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> I told you so, says the tarot reader, because everybody wants to hear that. For the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Ten. I'm feeling that. That's Mars in Pisces. How can an upturned... Well, this is the question for you. Leave me a comment in the comment section. How can the Ace of Cups reverse turn into the Ten, you know? And the other card that's underneath the Empress again. Two Empresses in one reading. That is powerful stuff. It points the way. This reading points the way somehow with the Ace of Swords, the Wumpf, the Crown Chakra, the knowing, the undeniable knowledge, the feeling, the prime mover, whatever you want to call it. And it's probably not what you expected to happen. I know, it's a mysterious reading from Gemstone Tarot today. Now, what she called, why can I never remember this when I do it every day? Colette Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle. Interesting. To the sea. This is a very similar kind of vibe to what we're seeing here. There's a certain amount of just going in the bathtub and letting it drift. There's a certain amount of going with some kind of really weird flow. You know, when you've got the hangman in reverse, there is a flow to go with. Let's have a Chuck Spezzano healing card. Ooh, people. I actually really, really like that. Get the healing card of truth. Two people leaving their kind of uniform behind and joining with the truth. You may hear from uh, somebody or some situation why they spilled that Ace of Cups. The truth definitely sets you free, but it first of all, you've got to sort of go out to sea or you have to go out to sea to get it. I know that sounds just really jumbly, but sometimes you can't. If you've got two empresses and a magician, it's not very straightforward. Yeah. Deception. And I sense this. Someone made a right mess of things here. And I don't know if it's as simple. <laughs> or do I? I? I'm just about to say, I don't know if it's as simple as me saying and they're going to come and apologise for it. And then after deception, I pull reconciliation. <laughs> Even that isn't completely straightforward, though. Suffice to say, okay, that there is some kind of hidden blessing in this reading. The Ace of Cups being upside down is somehow a hidden blessing. There's the blessing. It would be prudent to be open-minded. I think that's probably the only advice I can give from this. And I want one of those as well. Let's have an animal spirit and... <laughs> beaver, okay. <laughs> um, the beaver plays. We have playfulness, I think we had it yesterday. Also the beaver works really, really hard. I feel like in the sense, this going to the sea in the bathtub You've got to just go your own way at the moment. You've got to just literally strike out. 
do what feels good to you and accept that you're not entirely in control of this situation because it's playing out in quite a strange way. And then we get healing with the angels card of freedom. The truth will set you free. Leave me a comment. Do hit the like, do subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.